first. Point, okay, point, point, point. I admit, I was sitting point, right point, here point, when point. it popped up, and when I saw the opportunity for the first comment, I took it before yeah. watching the video. Sometimes you gotta pounce on things, you know? Like an old lady watching a My Pillow commercial. Uh -huh. Now that I've watched it, I feel better. And slightly itchy. Congratulations, J. Thirty three zero seven. You did it! You did it, man! You got first, and I saw how you capitalized on it. I noticed when I was brushing my teeth after uploading the video, I saw your comment, and it said first. And once you established that, you edited it. You took the microphone, and now you took over the whole show. I got a coffee spill, and now I gotta follow an old lady my pillow joke. Hit the like button out of pity for him. You're so merciful. No. Oh, come on. Wow, tough crowd. Cheers to you. Friendo. It's really hot. I think I burned my, my mouth. mouth. Something's missing here. What is Oh, I know what's missing. Some big chunky 1.2 ounce gold coin. For all of my faults, at least I have these. It's something to fall back on. <sighs> Terrible personality. Big gold. Matt Stevens, 473. Writes, hey friendo. I've never been featured on anyone's YouTube channel before. So cool. Thanks. I'm definitely not sacrificing a good lifestyle. I'm just enjoying a better one, health-wise and wealth-wise. Keep up the great work. Smiley face. There. Now you've been featured twice in one week. I bet your head just blew up. All right, I think maybe I had enough caffeine. Shane Lewis, 617. Writes, hands down, your channel is my favorite. I appreciate the encouragement, Shane. I don't know about the rest of you, but for me... This is proof that I have the best YouTube channel. Something About Silver, 223, writes, Such awesome content. Started stacking at 15. I am 16 now and going into the year with new and smarter stacking strategies and more motivation. Good for you, lad. I'm not sure how you got in here, though. It says 18 on the door. My advice to you, though, keep your treasure and your social life separated. Most people are pretty dumb and savage, and you might not know that yet, but you might already know that. If anybody has some advice for this guy, leave it in the comments below. Larry Blend, 4350 writes, Cheers to you, friendo. Right back at you, Larry. Thanks for stopping by. Nighthawk writes, Is that a silver eagle emoji, or is that a nighthawk? I thought it was a moon until I zoomed in on it. Thanks for commenting, Nighthawk. Appreciate you. Silver Hustlin, 1390 writes, I was just giving you a hard time. Preach the shout out. Slide by and see me sometime, dog. Keep hustling. Well, I did. And I like the silver bars, by the way. I started to look up Engelhard bars, and then I stumbled on a bunch of vintage bars on eBay, and it's a very interesting market. There's definitely some collector's premium on bars. I've been keeping my eye on collectibles markets in case there's a market downturn. If we were to have any type of deflation, comic books, sports cards, things like that, they go down pretty fierce. But when the market returns, they come back pretty fierce. So there's a lot of room to make some money or some cash or dirty petrodollars, or fiat debt notes, whatever you want to call them. I watched this auction while I was at the grocery store yesterday. This is the first appearance of the new Spider-Man. I know, I know, whoop de doo right? This isn't actually on my list of things to get, but it sold for over $5,000 last year. I was shocked to see it sell for less than $1,300 last night. Again, I don't care about this particular book, but it could be an indicator of what's to come for other collectibles, or if it's not already happening. Or that book just sucks, and it was overbought to begin with from all the hype. But if it is the high risk collectibles market finally getting damaged, then this could be a great opportunity. This might be your chance to get a Pokemon Charizard card. <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting my hands on the first appearance of Deadpool. New stand edition, of course. CGC 9.8. I see they're trying to sell it for $3,000 now. It was $5,000 last year. Okay, so you don't care about comic books. I get it. But maybe we'll start to see the same thing with collectible coins, collectible bars. I've been noticing some pretty good prices on meat at the grocery store. Maybe the dollar is going to start giving you more purchasing power as it gets harder to get them. Or maybe I just bought a bunch of Chinese baby back ribs and don't know it. I don't know. Either way, I guess I should wrap this up. You did hit the like button, didn't you? I really do appreciate you helping me grow the channel. If I didn't get to your comment, I will eventually. Just hang in there, all right? I'm being drawn and quartered by a vicious schedule. Subscribe for more, and you will get more. It's as simple as that. That is it. That is it. Thousand Air Radio, wicked shout.